Welcome to People Tech, the podcast of the HCM Technology Report. I'm Mark Pfeffer. Today, I'm talking with James Cooper Jones, the CEO of Simply. Since they're about improving the recruiting process, they pay a lot of attention to things like the great resignation and the attitude of the workforce. We'll talk about those things, plus the joys of running a business through COVID on this edition of People Tech. Hey, James, thanks for joining me. Could you tell me about Simply? What, what do you do? So Simply is a HR technology company, uh, but we approach it as a, a with a people first philosophy. This is very important and core to our values uh, for myself and my co-founder. And so we have developed a technology that provides values based recruitment in a digital form. Now, values based recruitment is a proven method uh, of recruitment to improve employee engagement and and well being, and really puts the individual and the person first. So, with our university partners, we've digitised that into an easy to use applicant tracking software uh, that allows you to use values based recruitment uh, easily and simply uh, for in um, in the recruitment process. Um. Here in North America, you know, we're going through the great resignation where people are quitting their jobs very quickly to find something better. How, is that happening in Australia? Yeah, it is. We're seeing that across the regions that we uh, have a presence in here in Australia, which is uh, our home country and where where Simply is from, but we have a presence in in Asia and in Singapore and then also in the UK, and we're seeing it across the board um, that this great resignation um, where people are resigning um, to, to, as you say, find something better is is occurring across the world, it seems. Uh, I'm going to come back to your company for a minute. Um, You you told me about about what Symphony does, Simple does, I'm sorry. how does Simple do it in a way that, well, first, how, how does Simple do it? And secondly, what makes it so good in the marketplace? Yeah, it's a good question. So what, how, what Simply does is <clears throat> really make it easy to access these, these uh, wonderful ways to, to find the right personality type for the right role. So we're at Simply, where we're, we often say we're developing HR technology for business managers and it's by business managers. We're, we're former business managers. Um, I'm a former CEO and, and senior manager of publicly traded companies. And so I understood the challenge even before the great resignation of finding the right people. I've had ventures that have gone very well and ventures that have not gone so well. And, and often that is the 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 basis of that is is finding the right people. And so um, I knew that I, what I wanted to do was find that right personality type for that right role. Certainly aware of, of other tools that are, that are around and, and a big believer in, in a lot of those tools, uh, psychometric testing and, and other, other psycholo- psychology-based tools that are available uh, um, to, to help you find the right personality type for the right role. The trouble is, is Mark, is that, that I found that those tools, although effective, are often uh, very time consuming and quite expensive. And so hence simply, it's all in the name was born. We wanted a simple method of delivering these tools and really democratize these, these methodologies and make them available for the, for the modern, very busy uh, uh, business manager. And that's what Simply has done. Uh, we've developed a methodology of, of values-based recruitment that is really simple and easy to use. Uh, you can use it as a standalone system or, or integrate it with your, your current uh, HRM's workday or SAP success factors, but really made that use powerful uh, technology to make it very simple for the manager. It generally takes 10 minutes or so to set up and for a candidate to apply. Uh, our market research in developing this technology was 
that in the great resignation and, and we're all fighting for an increasingly smaller talent pool, the candidate is in the driver's seat. And for a lot of the other systems uh, out there that provide uh, those psychology-based methods to finding the right personality for the right role, candidates are now not, not completing them uh, because they're too complex. So we've made that element of our technology as well, very easy. And again, only five to 10 minutes to apply. So that's what we do is we, we provide that simple tool, uh, previously probably unavailable to, to managers into a really easy system, hence the name Simply. Um, how many users do you have? Sure. So we've launched here uh, into the US market in um, uh, uh, in the last quarter and uh, we're rolling out there well. Uh, we have eight or so people using the, the system and we have a growing user base uh, there in the US. It seems to me that the market up here is pretty crowded with um, with companies like Simply or doing things like Simply is doing. How have you found the market? We found the market really receptive. As I mentioned, it's still very early for, for Simply. We've just launched the product into the US. And so it's great to, on this launch now, talk talk to you. But we found the market very receptive. I think the, the US modern manager understands the trends uh, that, of the increased digitization of the workplace. Uh, it, there is just an, an explosion of technology uh, there in the workplace. And I think that's because of, of two reasons. I, I think we're understanding how to get more out of our team using technology. Uh, and so a recent study done by I think Tank, uh, who included members such as Mercer and Deloitte, found that, that employee engagement or a lack of employee engagement uh, is costing US businesses half a trillion dollars a year. And so I think the modern manager is understanding that technology uh, systems need to be, can be a tool to improve that em employee engagement, not only making our employees happier, but also improving the bottom line of our businesses. But I think also, Mark, that we were talking earlier about the Great Resignation and one of the spin-offs spin of the Great Resignation is a remote workforce in some manner or for most of us as managers. May not mean that all of our team is, is working remote, but certainly some are and all working in a uh, remote hybrid type uh, arrangement. And this is requiring more, more technology as well. So the the interactions we previously had face-to-face -face were now required to use, uh, you know, Zoom is a verb, uh, uh, Microsoft Teams are, are essential parts of our life. So technology has, where they weren't previously pandemic, and, and so technology is taking a, a, a bigger role in our lives. I think the, the North American business manager is well regarded and highly respected around the world. And I think that's because uh, they can, they often address, see these trends and address them very quickly. Welcome to Don't Retire, Graduate, the podcast that asks you what you want to be when you grow up so you can graduate into retirement with a purpose and a passion, whether you're 25, 85, or any age in between. Gain actionable financial and mindset tips from your favorite authors, podcasters, and influencers to help you reach that exciting next chapter. Listen now and start building your path to financial freedom and reframing what retirement can mean to you. This is your host, Eric Brotman, reminding you, don't retire, graduate. Um, <clears throat> could you explain to me why engagement involves technology? Yeah, it's a good point. I think there's um, I, probably a, a couple of points there, Mark. I think one of the things I often talk about uh, and uh, we're noticing with our research university research partners in the UK is that what we're finding is that an increasing part of the, the workforce is a, a younger generation. And so where, where perhaps uh, the older generation were introduced at some time during their workforce, uh, work uh, 
life to technology and apps and, and iPhones and, and these other technologies, this generation coming up was born with them almost in their hand. And so it's a no brainer that technology is part of the workforce. And so the world's best known investor and Wall Street expert Warren Buffett once said, Wall Street is the only place that people ride to in a Rolls Royce to get advice from those who take the subway. Mr. Buffett's quote is remarkably accurate, but how many people would rather receive advice from him than someone simply guessing? Welcome to Buy, Hold, Sell, your single source for Wall Street knowledge and profitable guidance. Please join me, Todd Schoenberger, and fellow trader Tobin Smith, as well as host Veronica Dudo, for a podcast known to move the needle for investors. Tobin and I are seasoned Wall Street executives with deep investment experience, and we are prepared to share our advice to those who choose to listen. Download Buy, Hold, Sell today on the Evergreen Podcast Network or your favorite podcast channel. Gen Zers uh, uh, can, you know, um, increasingly represent higher uh, proportions of our workforce, 20, 30, 40% of our workforce. And so there's a, there's a large chunk of the workforce that just has an expectation that technology is part of, part of the answer to, to our day-to-day -day lives. Uh, but as I mentioned, those other trends um, around um, uh, the remote workforce as a, as a byproduct of, of the great resignation, uh, as we've got now the candidates have the, the hands in the right relationship, the candidates are now driving the relationship, there's a requirement for us as managers to, to accommodate to them to some degree. And in a restricted talent pool, we need to cast a wider net and find people that are living remotely. And so technology has a part to play in that. But I think also we're finding technology, some of the biggest companies in the US and around the world are technology companies, and they are because we can see that that increases efficiency and um, that uh, tools to be able to help us engage with our employees at a regular basis uh, and, and help them managers monitor productivity are on the rise uh, to fit that, that trend for sure. Um, I'm wondering if you find engagement more or less the same in the United States and Australia, or are they both particularly different? It's similar to the great resignation that we're seeing a similar trend across the board. Uh, it seems to be that the, uh, there were underlying trends prior to the pandemic uh, and in a change of, of philosophy towards the, to how people view work, how can, uh, employers, em, sorry, employees, their worldview was changing around where uh, work sits in, in their life. It seems to be, um, and this is in part fed by research by university partners in the UK, uh, that the, the pandemic and, and the forced lockdowns has been a, a, a catalyst for people to review where, where work looks in their, fits in their life. So where perhaps it was prior to the pandemic, I live to work uh, and people were on the hamster wheel and perhaps not understanding, you know, to some degree why, uh, the pandemic has has triggered this underlying shift to go for many in the workforce, not all, but many, to reassess where work sits in their in their in their lifestyle, and uh, that's where we're finding this increasing trend of finding of candidates only wanting to work somewhere that has purpose or values fit. They're not willing to take a, a role now that doesn't have those alignment and values are very important to them. Um, last question for you is, speaking of the virus, how did COVID impact your business? It, it seems like you'd be in a really tenuous place. Um, new, you know, new company, other businesses cutting their spending and all that kind of thing. So what did it do to you and how'd you get through it? Yeah, it's a really good question. I think... I think there's no been no time uh, in our in our recent memory where you know changes the is the only constant saying is more applicable than during the pandemic, 
And so like many business managers, we've had to adapt and, and um, uh, roll with the punches uh, that COVID has delivered to us. And I think we've got to be honest with ourselves. And I'm always almost honest when I'm talking to uh, business managers around the world, including North America, that, that um, uh, it was challenging. Like there's no two ways about it. I think uh, it has been a challenging period for many of us, but we've adapted and we're, and we're uh, changed and we're going, going strong. And so, um, and like many businesses, we've, we've had to adapt. The key changes we've made is uh, is that we have um, been able to adapt to the remote workforce. Uh, most of our team members are remote. Uh, we use technology to achieve that. We use technology and of course, simply to, to recruit, but also once uh, teams are on board, we use, we use technology to, to do that. That was really forced upon us because of the pandemic, but it has actually turned out to be a, a great benefit to us. We can now move very quickly uh, into new markets, including North America, but uh, Australia is a, is a beautiful place, but a long way from, from almost everywhere. So it's allowed us to, to move into uh, Europe and, and Asia and now North America. So that's exciting. Uh, but it's also allowed us to access a talent pool uh, and so that is around the world. So the, the, the brains trust around uh, the product we're deli de delivering and also our, um, our business is, again, in all those regions, Asia, Europe, uh, Australia, and, and now North America. And so that's what was um, originally seen as a pandemic uh, uh, concern uh, with lockdowns and, and recruiting people locally has turned into a benefit because that's helped us grow our business. We've got a wider uh, world perspective on, on our product. Uh, we can see trends that may uh, originate, say, in Asia or Europe, but then uh, sweep across Australia and North America. But we've, because of our, our, our remote work our team, We've been able to see those trends coming and adapt, and so I think that's um, the lessons I, I've learned, and and certainly many more for me and the team to to learn. But when I'm talking with business managers, that's the thing that I often uh, share notes on: is that uh, having a remote workforce uh, and being able to uh, tap into a, a wide uh, section of of um, of perspective is is great has been a great benefit to simply james cooper jones thank you for being here today thank you mark thank you for having me my guest today has been james cooper jones the ceo of simply and this has been people tech the podcast of the hcm technology report we're a publication of recruiting daily we're also a part of Evergreen Podcasts. To see all of their programs, visit www.evergreenpodcasts.com. And to keep up with HR technology, visit the HCM Technology Report every day. We're the most trusted source of news in the HR tech industry. Find us at www.hcmtechnologyreport.com. I'm Mark Pfeffer. Do you love news about LinkedIn, Indeed, Google, and just about every other recruitment tech company out there? Hell yeah. I'm Chad. I'm Cheese. We're the Chad and Cheese Podcast. All the latest recruiting news and insights are on our show. Dripping in snark and attitude. Subscribe today wherever you listen to your podcasts. We, we out. Faith in the news media has been challenged, making it even harder to get stories told. The Friday Reporter podcast was created to help audiences better understand the media by hosting journalists who will answer the questions to which we need answers. Join me every Friday to hear more.